20 cents a pack. That's why these are looted. We're doing gardening stuff. When did containers get so expensive? Those are ceramic. Yeah, those are ceramic. Can't plant much in that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Look. No, I'm just looking around. So, um, when you when you go through stuff at Walmart, try to put it back where it belongs. Strawberries are not potatoes. I'm just saying, you know. You might want to consider that. So here's here's something that I look for. So you got flat Italian parsley, spearmint. I don't like to see hybrid because you can't do replants. Catnip. Supplies, surprise this place isn't overrun. Pineapple sage, dill. Over here we got, um, so we got peppers, which is my favorite thing in the world. Jalapenos, lunchbox, lunchbox red, which is like a snacking pepper. You can also put in recipes and stuff. More jalapenos. Banana peppers, which is a hybrid. It's a sweet banana. It looks like, it kind of looks like a Hungarian hot wax in the picture which I don't know so I try to avoid anything that says hybrid because that means you got to keep the hybrid going by doing whatever it was they did and pass but um, I like to plant from seed so we just got these and uh, hollyhocks, perennial hollyhocks. And those are the actual bulbs. And then over here we've got these. I'm not even sure I can pronounce that, but um, those are gorgeous. And uh, this one is full shade, which is even better because we have a lot of it. I think Tori's really going to dig those. Cool if I could get this to be like super tall and bushy. Those are pretty. Oh, look at these. So we just got back from uh, Walmart. You saw some of the stuff. I'm drinking sugar free. Bet you never thought you'd see that day coming. We got a cat here, if you're wondering where the meowing is coming from. So we got a few things. And we already have a ton of seeds. But we got some uh, Love Lies Bleeding. Very pretty. And uh, random, but onion. And these are the kinds you want the greens from. You leave the bulbs plant, they'll keep coming back. Kind of like chives. Also, there is a huge uptick. Um, side note in um, bumblebee activity around here. Honeybees and bumblebees, I've been hearing that they've been on a, like a downswing, but that's not what I'm seeing at all. So I'm very excited about that. Here are the Tricertus, maybe? Look at that. You can't tell me that isn't gorgeous. Look at that flower, I mean, look at that. So those are perennials, and then, um, we got some hollyhocks. We're trying to uh, provide some flowers because we actually want more bees around here and less hornets. I'm like over hornets, you have no idea. So here's what we have in the stock that we're actually gonna try to plant this year. Now, keep in mind, this is open, but there's still seeds in it. This is the possibly the best pepper in the world because it has a citrusy flavor and it's spicy. 
It's probably one of my top favorites, although I have to take a lot of antacid before I, I go after one of these. But they are so good. People say, oh, habanero, that's, whew, boy, nothing now that we have, you know, Carolina Reapers. And now they got a Carolina Double Reaper, whatever that is. I don't even know. We got lots of peas. I got packages upon packages of peas. This is something we're going to plant and just let get out of control because it's a cabbage-based Bok choy is, is the greens that you find in, um, in Chinese food and, and, and Japanese food sometimes. And it's just really versatile and loaded with nutrients and it'll grow literally anywhere. So that's a no brainer. Let's see, I don't know how we're doing it yet, but I'm gonna probably get a really big planter and try to do some pumpkins and some sugar baby watermelon because those are awesome. What else we got? Ah, uh, this drawer doesn't want to stay open. We got some cauliflower. This, uh, if you're a vegetarian, this actually makes a really nice steak alternative. And this is coming from a meat eater, so you know it's got to be true. There's a Gordon Ramsay recipe. Look it up on YouTube. It's fantastic. And uh, it'll just, it, it's just amazing. I don't know why this is in here. Out. I got more flowers. Spaghetti squash sweet corn we're gonna have to really pull the stops out to actually plant this because corn has to be planted in rows so it can cross pollinate blah 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 and um, I might just try planting one in the Sun in like a, a, a prepared place but uh, to see if it grows um, the last time we tried it it didn't really do so well but I'm gonna give it a shot and see what we can come up with so we got corn all the varieties that I'm dealing with here are not hybrid large red uh, cherry tomatoes. I planted some of these last year and these went bananas. Outperformed everything else that was growing next to it. And uh, and some of the stuff was brought in by, it was a it was sort of, it was a competition, but not with the people I was working with. But somebody came in and they brought in um, pre-grown plants that they had grown indoors. I sowed, I, I, I grew like I always do. And I, you know, was raised and this was direct to soil. And they, they had so many cherry tomatoes, they didn't know what to do with them all. And they used them for salads. And my favorite of all the tomato varieties, oh, these are so good. And they're easy to grow in a container. So we're gonna grow these. Um, and, oh, I did sauce with these one year. Man, so good. So, so good. More peas. Here's some more peppers. These are uh, cayenne. We save our seeds, so, and uh, we get multiple uses and sometimes we harvest from the uh, old batch. We've got some more things here. What do we got? We've got carrots. Ta-da, they're the carrots. Winter squash. This is um, Waltham butternut. Really good. Tori hates these. I love them. Green beans. Fresh garden grown green beans. Let me tell you, there's nothing you can buy at the store that'll taste even remotely close to these. They have a sweet, crispy flavor, and they're delicious raw. I used to snack on them. They were great. I also have snap peas, too. And uh, we got lavender in here. And um, let's see. No catnip. Sorry, guys. More homestead. Snap peas. That's all you need right there. My favorite of all the winter squashes, Table Queen acorn squash. This is amazing. Now, you might be saying, well, what do you have for containers? Well, we have a variety of containers. We'll start with one of our bigger ones because, um, and this has stuff in it, so I'm not gonna really, but this is, to give you an idea, this is a pretty big container. We just got that one today. We have containers all over the place ranging from different styles. Okay, so you'll have to excuse me. I'm kind of in a weird position here. I'll try to get this straightened out a little bit. So we've got these long containers. These are really good for smaller tomatoes and um, re-fertilize, put some plant food in and you can reuse that soil. We also have some compost, so that's, that's a thing. We also have um, stuff like this for starters and whatnot with the milk jugs. We're actually gonna try a new milk jug trick this year that will 
you turn the jug upside down and it turns into a greenhouse and it's really really great and there's another there's another uh, honeybee we've got this this is huge look at this and it's got some of our tools in it we're gonna grow in this too although I might drill some holes in the bottom to drain it out but we've got a lot of planters everywhere just standing here I got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen let's just say a lot and I have a few large planters that we're gonna try to do larger veg in um, so that's it that's the uh, that's the plan as it stands right now so Walmart was interesting um, I got some uh, steel cut oats because I've never had them before and I want to try, I've been trying to eat healthier, hence the sugar-free, basically flavored water is what I'm drinking. Um, so that's it. Well, I got nothing else. Hopefully we'll be cooking again soon uh, and I'm hoping to do some outdoor biscuits in a cast iron pot. Uh, Cowboy Kent Rollins did the recipe, I want to give it a shot. So until next time, cheers and beers.